We will now determine the values of this uh, four expressions given in uh, part A, part B, part C and part D uh, using the given value of sine alpha which is equivalent to 5 over 13 where alpha is greater than 0 and less than pi by 2 and uh, also using cos beta equals uh, 2 times of square root of 85 over 85 where alpha, I'm sorry, beta lies within minus pi by 2 to 0. So basically alpha lies in the first quadrant and uh, beta lies in the fourth quadrant. So first uh, we will construct a right triangle for the angle alpha. So I construct a right triangle. This is a right triangle for the angle alpha. I mark this as uh, angle alpha. Let me mark this uh, origin as uh, O and this point as A, this point as P. And we are given that uh, sine alpha equals uh, 5 over 13. So when we use the Soka Tova, uh, sine alpha is uh, basically opposite side over hypotenuse. And this means uh, opposite side is 5 and the hypotenuse is 13. So the opposite side to angle alpha is AB. So I can mark this as 5 and uh, the, the hypotenuse to angle alpha is or the hypotenuse of this right triangle is OB. So I mark this as 13. So we have just marked the side lengths AB as plus OB. Now we have to determine uh, OA so that we can determine the other trigonometric ratio cos alpha. So to determine OA, we apply the Pythagoras uh, theorem. So which basically tells that OA equals, uh, it is the hypotenuse square that is uh, 13 squared minus of the other side square, which is pi squared. So this is equal to 169 minus 25. And this gives uh, 144 minus of, I'm sorry, this is uh, basically 144. So we have to take the square root of 144 and this equals 12. So we have determined the side length 12. So I can mark 12 over here. And this means we can determine the cos alpha as well. So I write down cos alpha using Sokot over it is adjacent side to hypotenuse. So for angle alpha adjacent side is uh, OA and hypotenuse is uh, OB. So therefore cos alpha equals 12 over 13. So here I have added this cos alpha information with the given information. Now using this uh, cos beta which is equal to 2 root 85 over 85 and uh, beta lies uh, in the fourth quadrant, we will determine sine beta. So for this, uh, I'm going to construct a right triangle in the fourth quadrant. So the fourth quadrant uh, is like this. So I construct a right triangle and this angle is the beta. And uh, let's say this is O and once again, this is A and this is B. And we are given that uh, cos beta this is cos beta equals 2 root 85 over 85. So when we use the Soka Tova, cos beta, that is cos of any angle is adjacent side over hypotenuse. And this means uh, adjacent side is uh, 2 root 85 and hypotenuse is uh, 85. So for beta, adjacent side is OA. So I am going to mark OA as uh, 2 root 85 and AB is the opposite and OB is the hypotenuse. So hypotenuse OB is marked as 85. Now we have to determine this uh, side length AB. We can use the Pythagorean theorem that is uh, AB equals uh, hypotenuse square that is uh, 85 squared minus of the another side length square that is uh, 2 times of square root of 85 this quantity squared and this should be under the square root. So we can simplify this and uh, we will determine the value of this one. So this equals uh, 85 square is uh, 
225 minus when we square this up this 2 square will be 4 and square root of 85 the square root will go off and this becomes 4 times of 85 and this is another square root so we can further simplify this 7225 minus 4 times of uh, 85 equals uh, 340 so we do the subtraction 7225 minus 340 and this is equivalent to 6885 under the root this could be factored as uh, 85 times of 81 so this gives the square root of 81 is 9 so i put the 9 in front and the square root of 85 i write down like this so basically the side length ab is uh, square root of 85 which means i can write down this side length as square root of 9 times of square root of 85 so from this i can determine the sine beta so therefore sine beta equals opposite side that is opposite side to beta is uh, 9 root 85 over hypotenuse which is uh, 85 so this is the sign of beta value so here i have added the sine beta with the given information uh, i have also put it as a negative value because uh, sine of uh, any angle will be negative in the fourth quadrant so just uh, uh, note this the sine beta is negative 9 times of root 85 over 85 now let's uh, determine the first that is uh, sine of alpha plus uh, beta and we can expand this using the sum formula so when we use this uh, sum identity we get the expression as uh, sine alpha cos beta plus uh, cos alpha sine beta so this is the uh, sum identity now we can replace the values of sine alpha cos beta cos alpha and sine beta using the given information so sine alpha is uh, 5 over 13 and uh, cos beta is 2 times of uh, root 85 over 85 plus uh, cos beta is uh, I'm sorry this is cos alpha which is uh, 12 over 13 and then multiplied with sine beta which is negative 9 times of root 85 over 85 so basically we have to simplify this and uh, we can give this as an integer or as a fraction we see that uh, we have a common denominator that is 13 times of 85 here also we have 13 times of 85 and uh, this is basically when you plug this into the calculator it is 1105 so i put this common denominator and then add the numerator terms that is uh, we have to multiply these two when you multiply these two we'll get 5 times of 2 times of root 85 5 times of 2 is 10 so this basically becomes a 10 times of root 85 then here we have a negative so i put this negative 12 times of 9 is 108 times of 85 under the root 85 so these two are like terms that is uh, 10 root 85 and a negative 108 root 85 on uh, like terms so just have to subtract the numbers 10 minus 108 and uh, when we do that we get uh, negative 98 so therefore this equals uh, negative 98 times of uh, root 85 over 1105 so basically this is the answer for this part that is sine of alpha plus beta equals negative 98 uh, root 85 over 1105 and now uh, instead of doing the part b i'm going to do the part c because uh, this part c is a difference identity and uh, i can simply make a change over here to quickly do the part c so basically a sine of alpha minus beta i can uh, rewrite this this will become a uh, negative sine of alpha minus beta so therefore uh, this uh, plus will also become uh, negative 
and this means this plus will also become negative and uh, therefore this negative will become plus over here because uh, we have negative times of negative it will become plus so basically we have to add these two quantities that is 10 times root 85 uh, plus 108 times root 85 so when we add these two we will get uh, 118 times of root 85 over 1105 so this basically represents the sign of alpha minus beta okay so here i have cleaned up uh, the previous writing and uh, i have written the results of uh, sign of alpha plus beta and sign of alpha minus beta let's do the part b now that is uh, cos of alpha plus beta we can expand this using some identity for a cos function that is this is equal to cos alpha cos beta minus of uh, sine alpha sine beta so we can substitute the values uh, we have cos alpha equals uh, 12 over 13 multiplied with cos beta which is uh, 2 times of uh, root 85 over 85 we then have minus sine alpha is uh, 5 over 13 times of sine beta is negative 9 times of uh, root 85 over 85. So once again we have the common denominator 13, uh, 13 times of 85 and this equals uh, 1105. So I put this uh, common denominator and then add or subtract the numerator parts. So we have to first multiply these two that is 12 times of 2 is uh, 24 times of uh, root 85 and then we have negative and negative this becomes uh, positive so I put plus 5 times of 9 is uh, 45 times of root 85 so these two are like terms in the numerator that is 24 root 85 plus 45 root 85 uh, this basically gives 69 times of uh, root 85 over 1105 therefore cos of uh, alpha plus beta is this value and now when i look at the part d i have to determine tan alpha minus beta uh, this could be written using the quotient identity that is a tan expression is basically sine expression that is sine x by cos x so when you use that uh, quotient identity this is written as sine of alpha minus beta over cos alpha minus beta and now i have this value that is sine of alpha minus beta which is basically the result uh, obtained in part c i can utilize this however i do not have the cos of alpha minus beta so i need to find the cos of alpha minus beta uh, when i look at the cos alpha plus beta expansion I just have to replace the beta with uh, negative beta so let me do that so therefore I can replace this expression as negative and uh, this will then become positive I put uh, plus here and similarly this uh, negative will become positive I put uh, plus over here and now in the next step uh, this positive will become negative because positive times of negative is negative so i change this to negative so basically we have to find 24 times root 85 minus of 45 times root 85 and uh, which is equivalent to negative 21 times root 85 over 1105 so this is a uh, value of cos of alpha minus beta 
let's find the final expression that is uh, tan of alpha minus beta and uh, as we have already written this is uh, written as uh, sine alpha minus beta over cos alpha minus beta we have the values of sine alpha minus beta which is uh, 118 times of uh, root 85 over 1105 and this divided by cos alpha uh, in as beta which is uh, negative 21 times of uh, root 85 over 1105 so basically we have to divide the fractions which means uh, we can multiply the denominator fraction with its uh, with its reciprocal so i can write down this as 118 times of root 85 this is the numerator fraction multiply with the reciprocal of the denominator fraction that is this will become negative of 1105 over 21 times of uh, square root of 85 you can do some cancellations here you can cancel this uh, 85 under the root as well as the uh, 1105 and finally we get uh, negative we have a negative over here so therefore this becomes uh, negative 118 over 21 so i have added this uh, tan of alpha minus beta which is equal to negative 118 over 21 and we have completed all the four parts